Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. We've just had the brand new NVIDIA 30 series announcement and there was one key bit of information that they revealed in this announcement. These new 30 series GPUs use PCIe Gen 4 and although it might not make a huge difference in the long term or even with testing at all, I felt like it was time that we upgraded our test bench to something that uh, uses PCIe Gen 4. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go part shopping and pick some new parts because we had an Intel based system, we had a 9900K test bench for a while, but now we're going Ryzen because it's the only platform that actually supports PCIe Gen 4 right now. And whether or not it's gonna make a difference, it's, uh, yeah, we don't know yet. So let's, let's, let's do it. Part shopping time. We need a CPU cooler. We're gonna use the Firma 2. Uh, for test benches, I like to go air cooling. It makes a whole lot more sense to do this. So yeah, we're gonna go with the Firma 2 because it's proven itself to be a very, very good air cooler. Next up for RAM, uh, I'm gonna be using the RAM we had on the old test bench. It's Team Group uh, Dark Z at 3600 megahertz. Uh, the timing is a bit eh, on it, but it's okay. It's uh, it's, it's fine, it, it works no problem. Now something else I wanted to talk about was for storage because uh, we do a lot of Linux testing as well. So we actually use three different drives of three different capacities for our test bench. Usually we have Windows on one and we have two different Linux distributions which are configured different ways. So I don't have to jump through all those hoops for AMD drivers and for Nvidia drivers. So I can just multi-boot and switch between them. So yeah, it's a, an interesting little solution that I like to do. And the reason why I do it this way is when you install Linux, it will tell you the manufacturer of the drive in the installer. And this just makes it easier for me not to accidentally delete partitions when I'm doing things really, really quickly. There is an ele more elegant way to do it, but this is how we're gonna do it for this. So yeah, I just wanted to explain this stuff to you guys because uh, some of you might find it interesting. Okay. Because we're going X570, or rather Ryzen with PCIe Gen 4, we're gonna need a beast of a motherboard. We're gonna go with the X570 Aorus Master. Absolute beast of a board. We've used this in the past, so we're gonna use it for our new test bench. We haven't used it in a while, so yeah, decided to put it into a production environment. Next up, we're obviously going to need a CPU. And I've decided on something a little bit uh, controversial. I had a lot to think about with this, but 3900 XT. It's a little bit faster than 3900X, and I'm not using it, so it would make sense to use the CPU over using any of the other Ryzen chips because of the core count, and it's generally a pretty quick CPU for gaming. So yeah, I know it's not as quick as Intel, but again, no PCIe Gen 4 with Intel, and we just don't know how it's gonna perform, what the differences are gonna be. We've already had comments of people asking, we don't know yet, so it's better to have the hardware equipped for it in the meantime, so we know in the future if it's worth it or not. It, it, this test bench will change in the later on. Anyway, last of all, actually no, we need a power supply. Okay, there's been some controversy lately about uh, power supply capacities, I don't care. 1200 watt uh, platinum from Cooler Master. This is gonna go on the test bench. I had a 1000 watt on there before, but these cards are looking like they're gonna suck a bit of power. So we're going to 1200 watts. And last but not least, ladies and gents, is the test bench. It's the Streetcom Open Bench Table. I've been using this for absolutely ages. I wired my own power button up to it just in case I'm using a board that doesn't have a power button, but this board actually does, so it doesn't really matter, so probably won't be using it, but I'm just gonna leave it on there just in case. Okay, are we ready to build now, Claire? We're gonna put it together and then I'm gonna maybe show you how we're configuring it and maybe talk about some of the new benchmarks that we're gonna be using for these 30 series GPUs and all of the later GPUs to come, because this is our new setup, so. Let's build.
All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an insight into the hardware we're gonna be using with testing GPUs going forward. This includes anything that Nvidia brings and anything that AMD brings in the near future. Now, there are a few hardware choices that we actually discussed in the intro of the video. Make sure you go back and watch that if you missed it. But just to recap, we decided to go with a platform that supports PCIe Gen 4, based on the fact that these new Nvidia GPUs also support PCIe Gen 4 and and AMD GPUs are going to support it, considering the 5700 XT, 5600 XT, 5500 XT, all do support PCIe Gen 4. Whether or not it's gonna help us get more performance or just more performance in general, it's yet to be seen with the Nvidia GPUs. With the AMD GPUs, it really didn't impact it that much at all. So yeah, let's uh, let's just wait. Be patient, ladies and gents. I'm sure we'll be able to find out some juicy things about these new GPUs when we get our hands on them. And that's all I can say about that for now. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Now, as far as the operating system choice, we went with Windows 10 2004 Enterprise. That's what we always use because it's stripped down. It's got less of the bloat and that's just the way we like to use it around here. For Linux, we went with Ubuntu. 20.04.1 desktop. It's what we know, it's what we use, and it's easy for us to re-roll new installations if something goes wrong. Now we could use Arch Linux or Manjaro or any other type of distribution, and we have done this in the past with our Linux testing, but we've always found that Ubuntu's just been easier for us to manage and to get it up and running if something breaks. Simple as that, but yeah, hope you guys liked uh, this little bit of a hardware change. Now I will be referring back to this video in all of the testing that we're gonna be doing with all the new GPUs, just in case anyone misses out on what we actually use for testing hardware. I feel like with those videos, I repeat myself way too much about our testing methodologies. And yeah, I just don't wanna to have to do that anymore. As far as benchmarks are concerned, we're gonna keep going with our regular suite of benchmarks. We're going to be taking a couple of those benchmarks away and we're gonna be retesting every single GPU we have on hand on this new test bench to have all fresh numbers with latest drivers and all that stuff, it's gonna be an entire Entire metric butt ton of work, but it's going to be completely worth it because we're going to have brand new numbers for everything to see where everything sits. Because uh, I suspect that the prices for the 20 series GPUs are going to come down on the second hand market. So people will want to know the performance of those GPUs compared to these as well. We've got every single 20 series card on hand already. And yeah, that's all I can say about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put a PC pop picker list down below in the description if you wanna know what all the hardware is and all that jazz. And if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music and yeah, once again, I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. Smash like. I'm doing this completely out of order. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button right now. Turn on that little bell to receive notifications because we will be giving you the juiciest stuff with all of these new GPUs the second we're allowed to share details. Yeah, I'm your Wendigo Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, I've i been reading your guys' comments. We did a little community post a little bit earlier to see what you guys thought about it. And you guys are generally excited. Now there are a few things that a little, well, a few things you guys are a little bit upset at and that's to do with the lower end GPUs. But guys, just look at history and history will tell you what's gonna happen, right? All of the lower tier stuff always comes a little bit later. It's a marketing thing. It's always been like that. It's always gonna be like that. So be patient. I'm sure there's gonna be new, more new stuff uh, fairly, fairly soon. I know nothing, otherwise I would probably not say it even if I did, but yeah. I know nothing, I don't know anything about any lower tier GPUs, but just based on history, we know we're gonna get them. So yeah, thanks for watching.